great. <laughs> uh, do you have a family? Um, no kids or anything, but you know, I, I have a you know, brothers and yeah. sister, nieces, nephews. You know. And so you just you're just on the road and just have fun, or what? When I'm on the road, oh yeah, it's, it's you know, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun, but uh, no, I, I also I'm, I'm busy during the day. You know, I you know I have fun at night, but during the day is is, is all business. You know, I'm practicing, playing guitar all day, going to the gym. You know, I'm, I'm I try to keep pretty disciplined during the day. Do, um, are you into any sports? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I love uh, boxing. I love Muay Thai, MMA, Jiu Jitsu. You know, I'm into all the the combat sports. Do you? Um... Do you, are you, you know, do you study in any discipline? Uh, yeah, I do a, more Muay Thai nowadays, you know. Okay. You know, and I used to, when I was a kid, I used to box. I didn't had a couple amateur matches, you know, so I, I still try to, you know, work out as much as I can. Yeah, I started judo last year, and, um, because I, nice. I, I, when I was younger, I did a lot of, uh, uh, jujitsu, and mm-hmm. then I started judo with my son last year. So they have like a father son judo class. Ah, very cool, man. Very and cool. It's I, awesome. I freaking uh, hurt my throat because mm. they wow. this dude freaking uh, with his forearm in a sparring match. He freaking jammed his forearm straight down my throat because I had him in a triangle. Oh shit! Wow, unbelievable, man. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. It didn't. Fuck. They said that everything was cool. Like what the fuck? I've never known. That, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, wow, man. Does that hurt your legs? Because I've always thought about Muay Thai and in yeah. the kicking aspect, yeah. but I'm, I'm always afraid of like an Anderson Silva incident happening to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, you gotta be careful. Worse than that is even just your foot, man. You know, if you, you land a kick even on the bag on a heavy bag, the wrong way, man. You slam your top of your foot. You know, if I've sprained my foot a couple times or maybe even fractured, I don't know. But that's that, that's even that's horrible pain, man. You're not walking for a couple of days, you know. Yeah. Um, so there, uh, around the forums and in and, and online in, in certain magazines, they have you as one of the top twenty-five guitarists of all time. Oh wow, that's crazy! I didn't know Did, that. You didn't? Uh, how do you feel about that? That's I mean, amazing. hearing that news, I, news. I, that, uh, you know, I'd be honored. I mean, that's uh, that's incredible. But you know, I also. Uh, if that is the case, you know, I mean, I take that pretty seriously, and that's that's what keeps me uh, practicing every day and wanting to get better. And you know, I'm always uh, you know checking out new players and trying to learn from people. You know, it's just uh, it's, it's never ending my my practice uh, regimen. You know. Yeah, I get you. Um, yeah. When you are out in um, when you when you are out on the road. What is your one of your favorite like go to junk foods? I know you said you're healthy, junk foods. but it's easy to fall into a bad habit on the road. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, probably just I, I love Mexican food, man. You know, and, and not that it's it's unhealthy. I try to eat healthy even when I get Mexican food, but I, I love chips and you know salsa. You know, <laughs> I know. chips and fucking salsa, guacamole. <laughs> that's, that's that's my biggest weakness. Is I'll sit down at a Mexican restaurant and, and just freaking tear up a bowl of tortilla chips and, and then order more you know and then yeah. before you can get my burrito i'm already stuffed you know so that's, that's kinda, that would that would be my junk food or if it's late at night you know i'll slam a bag of tortilla chips and salsa you know i mean it's just uh it's an addiction man i'm, I'm addicted to mexican food yeah they have this uh, i live in ventura and there's this uh a kitty quarter in town across is oxnard california and nice. uh, they have this new restaurant that just opened, and it's mm-hmm. called Lo- Lola's. And that's exactly, I just went there on Thursday, and that's the exact mm-hmm. same thing that happened to me. I had two bowls of chips, yeah. and by the yeah. time my food came, I didn't even want to eat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just take it, take it to go. Eat it later, you know. <sighs> so right now you guys are in um, in the studio with Soulfly. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. How's that going? Great. Yeah, I'm excited. This new record's been awesome. Um, you know, I'm really excited to get, to get this record out. And I think it's really cool how um, a couple months ago, the new Cavalier Conspiracy record came out. Um, I'm in the studio now making the new Soulfly, so hopefully that'll come out later this year. And then March, I have uh, my new uh, record, Rotation, coming out. So I think it's for the fans, it's pretty cool. You know, you're getting uh, three records of, of you know, my, my guitar playing that, that are all coming out around the same time. So uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And I think the fans, you know, they're, they'll, you know, once you hear all three records, you know, you'll 
you'll, you'll dig it. How all three of them kind of intertwine with each other. How do you discern what's going to go where, you know, uh, like, all right, I want this riff. Like when you're right, you know, you're recording your riffs or, or recording any ideas you have. How do you decide like, all right, I want this for me. Or is there any like selfish part of you that's like, oh, I like this. This is really for me. I can't show no one. Or is it just like this better fits these guys? This better fits me. Um, yeah, I mean, basically, um, you know, when I when I write, you know, I'm, I'm always first and foremost writing for my my, my instrumental records. Um, first and foremost, you know, just because that's that's uh, you know my project. So yeah, so you know, I'm and that stuff is it's definitely more a little bit more intricate. You know, it's more melodic. Um, sometimes even more bluesy, a little bit more jazzy. Um, so, you know, the, the more bluesy kind of jazzy instrumental stuff is always more for my project, you know? And then when it's time to go to make a record with like Soulfly or Cavalier Conspiracy, a lot of that stuff is, uh, I, I, that, that I do come up with is just off the cuff, you know, it's just in the studio, you know, Max comes up with ideas and then I just kind of jump on top of it and, and just come up with stuff, uh, in the moment. When was the last time you were inspired? Like, um, just in general, like, it, it, with music and with art? Every day, you know? I mean, um, you know, every day when I wake up, I, I, you know, I go, like, on YouTube and I watch, you know, old videos of, like, Dimebag or videos of Joe Satriani, you know? I mean, just, just all my favorite players, man, you know? So um, I'm online, though, and every day, just, you know, looking for new players and, and then going back and listening to a lot of my old favorite players. So, yeah, man, you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of inspiration out there and, and, um, I need it, you know, it, it really, uh, it fuels my fire to, to want to play guitar. You know, once, once I watching these old videos of, of Dimebag or Sat- Satriani, it's like, man, I got to get a guitar in my hand like right away. Nice. Um, <clears throat> do you, you know, you, uh, do you play any games on your phone? Games? Yeah. Nah, you know, I, I, I like the old school video games, like when I was a kid, growing up, like in the early 90s, like the old Sega Genesis and stuff, but I kind of I kind of stopped playing around that time. I, I, I noticed how um, it was, it was even as a kid, you know, I noticed how all my friends were addicted playing the video games, and, and I was like, man, this is just taking time away from me practicing guitar. Um, so I, I definitely, I, I kind of stopped playing video games back, like when I was a kid, back in like maybe 92, 93. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Um, what else do you do, like besides guitar? Like, what else, uh, you know, drives you or, or um, makes you like, oh, I like to do this or any other kind of hobbies besides working out or, or guitar? Yeah, just fitness stuff. You know, that's about it. You know, that's all I do all day. Work out all day. You know, I'm a big fan of like you know outdoor calisthenic type workouts. So I'm always at a park. You know, if I can't get to a gym and and work out, then I just go to the parks, you know, like I'm here in, in California recording this record. I have like no gym nearby. So there's a park a couple uh, blocks away and I just go there, you know, a lot of pull-ups, dips and jogging, you know, I, I just, I like being outdoors and working out or even going hiking. You know, I live where I live in New Jersey. I'm, I'm kind of uh, an hour from New York city and I love just walking through the woods, you know, doing some hiking and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, at all, do you, watch netflix um no not yet no. that's that's where that's where you can download movies right like yeah. to your phone or to your house yeah I, you know I, I just don't really have time I, if i watch anything i watch the history channel you know i'm a big fan of uh history channel on the um, you know whatever channel it is and yeah. i just I, I like documentaries you know a lot of historical stuff i'm a big big history buff you know yeah i like that too um <clears throat> Uh, when when the the book and the chapter is is finished and written, when it comes to Mark, what do you want people in future generations to know about you? Um, probably just you know my music, you know my records, my my shows. Um, you know, uh, it would be cool if if there was somebody out there watching my videos, you know, and and my uh, listen to my records like I listen to guys like Dimebag or you know, or Jimi Hendrix and stuff, you know, and it'd be cool if maybe if I'm influencing people like that and inspiring people, you know, and, uh, and people are enjoying it long after I'm gone. Is there any newer music that has recently come, came out that impresses you? Um, yeah, there's, there's some, there's, there's a lot of really great stuff out there. Um, I, I kind of lean more towards the older stuff, you know, maybe just cause I'm getting old now, but, um, there's a lot of great new bands. There's, there's a band I played with, um, called In Search of Sight. 
that opened up for me on one of my solo tours that I met down in Texas, and they're unbelievable. I listen to them a lot. They're kind of like a genty uh, prog band. Um, I really like that band Oni a lot. We toured with them a couple of years ago. They're, yeah, they're unbelievable, Oni. man. Oh, man, they're incredible shredders. Yeah. That guitar player is incredible. And the dude that plays, the, I think it's the xylophone, right? I mean, he's incredible. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, dude, it's, it's insane right now, the, 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 um, the level of talent and, and what these kids are doing with the guitar. It's, it's just unbelievable, man. There's, there's just incredible players out there right now. It's, it's, it's actually really scary, you know, how incredible a lot of these new kids are. 